one of our jockeys, Aaron Greider. And Aaron, a nice day for riding? Oh, it's a great day, Mike, and it's, it's sunny sunshine out here, but uh, it's just great animals that we deal with every day, and it's a beautiful day. Today you're riding in the uh, seventh race. What do you do to prepare for the ride, or you've been doing this so long that you're really not even thinking about the race yet? No, it still takes preparation. I, I mean, my daily routine is I'll come out early in the mornings, about 5.30, and get on horses that I might be riding in the next week or two. Um, they're not horses that I'll be riding today, but just to familiarize myself with them um, for races in the future. And a lot of times, because there might be two or three horses that I can ride in the same race, it gives me a chance to see which ones might be best, um, see if, if they have any little quirks and, and get to know them a little bit. But uh, after that, my, my routine is go to the gym. I'm always at the gym uh, daily. I do that, and it's part of my preparation. I don't feel as good if I don't go there, stretch out, um, run a few miles, and if I'm not at the gym, I'm, I'm running up these beautiful mountains behind Santa Anita every day. I'm so fortunate. This is something I wanted to do when I was three or four years old, and you know, I'm pretty blessed to be doing it 21 years later. I've been, well, not, not since I was three or four years old, but I've been doing it for 21 years now, and it's, uh, you know, it's something that I still get excited about. So to me, it's, it's energy that's surely not wasted, and it's, uh, I surely have enough of it to go around. You know, Aaron, as you know, we've been getting our game out there and distributing it out there and getting people to play. And one of the comments they say is, they go, oh my God, they're riding these horses in the game isn't as, as easy as you think. And I mean, it's obviously when you look at it from a spectator standpoint and you watch these guys out there and you say, well, it doesn't really look so hard. But when you get close and personal to it, as we've been able to do today and some other occasions, it's pretty damn difficult. Oh, it is difficult. It's you know, it's, it's different. Every horse and every race is uh, a different circumstance that you have to adjust to, and, and you never stop learning. So, um, I don't know how many of you that, that are playing the game have to lose weight before you play or uh, go to the gym, but uh, I sure hope you enjoy it and, and understand how difficult it can be, but how rewarding it is when you win. When they play our game, what they really have to utilize is the form, or what we call our version of the form. Then they get to handicap and go through that. Going through the form and from the form basis only, what would you say are some of the most important factors to look at before getting on that uh, horse and starting that race? Well, I always think it's important to, to look at the horse, the class that the horse has been running in, the distance that maybe best suits that horse. You might see horses that have run a number of different different distances, but you'll find one that they, they seem to like a little bit better. And, and the, the form that they're in, the current form, and I look when I'm riding horses, I try and figure out sometimes there's not something that, that just stands out on a horse and I have to look when they're 15, 20 to 1, what's the best race this horse ever ran and why Why was it so good that day? Was it because of where he was positioned at? Was it because he was down on the inside or on the outside? And you have to pay attention to all the details. So it makes it a lot of fun handicapping and that's why it's so difficult and, and even in live racing why these pick sixes and things are so hard to hit. In so, one line, what word of advice would you give to our jockeys in the game? What's the, the very, very key uh, thing that you can tell our jockeys when playing the game? Be patient and don't get frustrated. I mean, when, when, when you're doing great in this game, you're losing it 80% of the time. So, uh, you know, enjoy what you're doing, enjoy the victories, and, and surely savor them because they're not easy to come by. We're here with top jockey Aaron Grider, and beautiful day at Santa Anita, and we're going to catch him after his race and see how he feels then. Thanks very much, Aaron. Thank you.